Hi everyone, we are back speaking in golf. <laughs> My tongue was. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are back with Bikini in Business and... <laughs> Hi everyone, we are back with Business in Bikini Season 2, Episode 7 <laughs> With two beautiful girls Skylar Lanier, IFBB Bikini Pro And Nikki Politi, NPC Bikini And Sela Santiago, IFBB Pro Bikini So our first question is from Priscilla in Miami she wants to know what accessories should I wear on stage? Well, um, I usually use like a bracelet, you know, like uh, earrings for sure. But I don't like to be too much mm -hmm. because it's take like a faucet about uh, your body and you see like more of what you you want to wear. You know what I mean? Yeah. So be simple. Uh, of course, if you want to wear something else, you can do it, but don't be like too much. Yeah, you definitely don't want the attention to be what's on your arms and hanging from your ears. You want everything to be a nice blend. So I always do like, yes, I always do like a very small bracelet here, like a medium bracelet, some nice earrings, and like I'll always wear my engagement ring on stage. Um, <laughs> and I will keep it very simple, very simple. I will say do not wear any necklaces or chokers or anything, ankle bracelets, nothing like with the dangles or anything like that. Oh, no necklace, not for sure. Yeah, yeah no necklace. No. I think one thing to be careful about too, and I've seen it before, is where girls will have the straight connectors with straight earrings. And it oh, looks it like caught. it all connects. Yeah. It looks like it's one long piece, literally from your earrings to your bikini connectors. So when you practice posing and practice stage presence and all that stuff, don't have your earrings literally look like they're connecting with your connectors. You want that separation. Yeah, and that's that's, they also do get caught. They get okay. caught, yeah. Yeah, so. also don't take like a long one. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes Simple. girls want to actually show that they are wearing something. Yeah. But listen, we're gonna see you, your body, especially your body, not what you are wearing, you know? Second question is from Mariah in New Jersey, and she would like to know, is it normal that my family doesn't understand the necessities of contest prep? <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, it's normal. Uh, what we all do is not normal. So bringing your food to restaurants, eating every two to three hours, you know, with your little meal prep containers, that's not the norm. So for your family not to understand that is, understandable they don't know what we're doing but you want a good support system um, make sure your family supports you in everything that you're doing that your friends and family aren't making fun of you for bringing your food to places that they're there for you making sure that you have your meals water whatever you need I mean just I mean it's your competition it's for you and don't listen what anybody says that you know that they are making funny or whatever but just for you they won't be on stage that's why they don't do it mm -hmm. i mean um you can enjoy your life normally you can go you can hang out with your friends but of course you need to still pay attention about your food and stuff but i mean it was not like a, a big deal for me and it's still not. Yeah. I mean, sometimes people look to me, I'm eating something and with my like my box and they say, wow, it's my food, you know, like, I really don't care. And actually, you don't need to care about this too. Just focus on your prep and that's it. Yeah, focus on yourself. It's for you. You're the one getting on stage. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I, w I wish I could say the same. I unfortunately had to deal with that with my family because I grew up eating Chinese food, pizza, like not living a very health conscious lifestyle. Um, so when I switched up my life, you know, because I, I was overweight as a kid and I completely changed my life, they didn't understand. They were actually very concerned when I started competing um, and I had to, you know, teach them like, it's okay, I'm, I have a coach, I'm doing this properly. You know, I have people to watch me and make sure I'm eating healthy to make sure that I'm still, you know, being a healthy child. Um, and you know, they, I, we would go out to restaurants and I would bring my own food and they were like, oh, well, can't you have chicken breast or can't you have a salad? It's healthy, right? No, it, uh, yes, it, uh, chicken breast and salad is healthy, yes, but this, this is a completely different The thing. way they make is with oil and yes. stuff, butter. it's not yeah. healthy at all. Yes. So. 
to an average human, yes, it is, it is healthy. Yeah. For us, it's different. We go the more extreme route, and it's just about teaching your family and friends who have never been exposed to this kind of lifestyle, just teaching them, hey, this is what's going on in my life. You may not understand it right now, but I, I hope me explaining this really you know, shows you that I love this and this is awesome and you, this is some understanding of what we do from a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, actually I changed my family. Oh, they were it here like so bad and then when I started to compete, I started to show them that actually it's health, how I was eating and uh, they start to eat health too. So actually it was a good thing for my family. Everybody was like, being health too. And I was like, okay, nice that everybody actually understand that eating like that is gonna be just better for them, you know? So I, I, I had like this lucky time for my family. <laughs> Yeah, so you can definitely encourage others, you know, who didn't yep. eat as healthy as they did before to now eat healthy and become more energized and become just yep. a, just to live a longer and healthier life. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, that is it for this episode. We will see you next time with Business and Bikinis. Same time, same place, NBCNewsOnline.com. Follow us on our Instagram handles down below.